Matthew 27 begins with a leading priest meeting early in the morning to plan Jesus' death, and it ends with them sealing Jesus' tomb following his crucifixion. But something very interesting happens as Jesus dies on the cross. In verse 50, Jesus shouts out and releases his spirit. He dies, and the Bible says at that moment, the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, rocks split apart, and tombs opened up. And the bodies of many godly men and women who had died were raised from the dead. They left the cemetery after Jesus' resurrection, went into the holy city of Jerusalem, and appeared to many people. The Roman officer and the other soldiers at the crucifixion were terrified by the earthquake and all that had happened. They said, This man truly was the Son of God. The death of Jesus Christ was accompanied by four miraculous events. During the crucifixion, we're told a great darkness fell over the land for about three hours in the middle of the day. Then at the very moment Jesus died, the temple curtain that separated the presence of God from the people was torn from top to bottom. The earth quaked and rocks were split as nature itself was shaken by the death of the Son of God. And tombs were opened up and the bodies of many men and women who had died were raised from the dead. And my hope for you and I today as we read about the crucifixion in Matthew 27 is that we'll put ourselves in the story. We'll see the intense darkness at midday and the veil as it's torn from top to bottom. We'll feel the earth shake and the rocks split. We'll see those who have risen from the dead as they walk into the city of Jerusalem and that will agree with the Roman officer and soldiers and say, this man truly is the Son of God.